Now layer one, working from the ground up, is what we call the physical layer. It's muscle memory for me to say that this layer provides the electrical, mechanical, and procedural concepts that are required to activate a link. But really, anything that has to do with the cable that you're using for connectivity and the sending of signal across that cable to transfer data would be the role of this layer. So this layer defines the standards that we use to accomplish physical connectivity and to be able to send signals across the physical medium. So let's drop it down here and you can see in the call out on the right hand side the responsibility of this layer. The electrical, the mechanical, and the procedural concepts for activating the link. Layer two is what we call the data link layer. The data link layer provides a reliable link between two nodes that are directly connected and it detects and possibly corrects errors that could happen at the physical layer. So this layer transmits signal onto the physical medium. It is the bridge between the logical and the physical. Layer three is what we call the network layer. The network layer is responsible for logical addressing and the logical addressing that is prevalent today is of course IP version four. This is the layer that would also be responsible for IP version six. It is also responsible for using those addresses and determining the best path. Layer four is what we call the transport layer. The transport layer is what's responsible for providing either a reliable delivery service or an unreliable delivery service to the layers above. And it does this by communicating between two nodes across the link that is established at layer two and layer one. It uses layer three for the addressing to find the host on the other side. Layer five is our session layer. The session layer establishes and manages as well as terminates any connections that are between the application on one side and an application on the other side. So we might think of this in terms of an email application and an email server application. So the email application on the client machine would need to establish a connection to the email server and use that server to send a message to somebody. So the session layer would be responsible for establishing that session, managing the session, and then terminating that connection when we're finished sending that email up to the server. Layer six is what we call the presentation layer. This provides a mapping between syntaxes and data representations. And what I mean by that is conversions between different languages almost. So it would be things like JPEG or EBCDIC, things along those lines that we would see here. And then finally, layer seven is the application layer. This layer interacts directly with the application that a user sees and it allows that application a communication component to talk on the network. 